Welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on Thursday, May the 4th, 2023. Tom, there's a lot going on geopolitically right now. What is the real danger? Well, it's like it says in scriptures, there will be wars and rumors of wars. We have obviously the Ukrainian war going on, you have the Sudan, you have the threats uh, on the Taiwan Strait. So there's a lot of things happening. The, the key is, where, is it, where does it leave from here? The point is, sooner or later, everybody's going to have to start negotiating and start talking. And in so doing, for example, the, I don't think the Ukrainian war is going to be solved in the battlefield. Uh, eventually, they're going to have to talk. And Mr. Putin has to be left with some face. He has to be left with something out of this. So I would think he's going to end up with territory and, again, with Crimea. Uh, the rest of it, Taiwan, everybody just has to relax, take a Valium and back off the pressure. This is unnecessary uh, stress. So you've got a lot of that going on along with the economy, interest rates, that type of thing. But I think you just have to slow down a little bit. Everybody's going to stop threatening each other, stop puffing up and saying, I'm the toughest guy in the block. Everybody's got to relax a little bit and let's see what normal starts to look like. And that means leadership. Leadership has got, have, we, we need statesmen. We don't seem to have many now. We have posers, but we need statesmen now. So what do you see for the future uh, in terms of financial markets? Well, you know, there's, right now the major concern has been the continual and sharp interest rate increases. And this is, of course, Silicon Valley Bank has collapsed. And now it's spreading to the other banks. Now, Jamie Dimon uh, at J.P. Morgan said, oh, no, no, the crisis is over. I don't think so. So it's starting to tumble into other areas. The Federal Reserve has got to decide how high they want to go in rates. And the Silicon Valley and the other regional banks, that was like the canary in the gold mine, or in, the, in the coal mine, should I say, that, you know, all of a sudden it's showing these banks can't adjust that quickly to interest rates. Uh, the, the other danger is the increasing spending habits of governments. I think that is the really big problem. On one hand, you've got central banks trying to tighten the system and government spending money uh, and throwing money around so nobody's going to have any uh, stress over this. So it's, it's foot on the brake, foot on the gas. But I think throughout it all, keep it simple. The continuing fact of government spending, uncontrollable spending, means inflation. You have to invest for inflation. That is the only constant. And that basically means equities, even though they've come down quite a bit. We've had a pretty ratty first quarter. But I, I do think we're going to see improvement in that area. You've got to own stuff, whether it be real estate, whether it be equities, because that's the only way to stay ahead of inflation. And inflation has been there as long as my career exists. Thank you so much for your insights, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.